Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Critics Cut. My name is Jacob, and today I have an early review of all the new Black Panther Wakanda Forever sets for 2022, except for the um, largest set, which has not been officially revealed yet at the time of recording this video, but it has already been linked online. Uh, as I can, as far as I can tell, that will be a retail exclusive to Lego and certain stores in your respective countries. But anyways, so yes, I've got three sets here in front of me. So. On the left hand side we've got the smallest set which is a four plus set based on the first black tank for film so uh, we'll go into that further get two minifigures there in the middle we've got we get three minifigures here with namor's throne and a little submarine and then on the far right we've got four minifigures and it retails for 45 pounds in the uk so yeah i thought i'd just do these in one big video because they're all very small sets so leave a comment down below what you think of these sets and leave a like on the video it really helps out the channel and helps get this video out there to other people so let's jump and into here it here we have shuri's sunbird which um they do a lot of these larger vehicles for the black panther movie as you can see it's quite large for the size of it and how much it costs for 45 pound if i just zoom the camera on out so here you get a better sense of the scale um yeah but you, you kind of lose yourself in the build when i was building this because as i say i haven't really taken a very close detailed look at this set i haven't watched any of the other early reviews of this but as you can see it is a very large model but it also has a very thin body so as you build the body along the middle as you can see it's very thin and then you build these very very large wind pieces as you can see here so they are stacked three plates high and connected very interesting but yeah let's go into the closer detail it's starting off at the front as you can see i put the sticker on a bit wonky there i do apologize for that but you do have this nice purple windshield piece which i don't think comes in too many sets you've got a little stickered control panel on there which is very standard got some stud shooters on the side going along the top you've got these very nice stickers along here but the print quality of these um because for some reason the online as you can see here trans clear backed stickers don't know why they did that to be honest um they could have used um, um i guess it's for this window cockpit piece but then they could have just printed these parts purple i don't know why they did that because the gold shine on here is not very good it doesn't look great um so as you saw here these are on ball joints and they have a little sticker on there just to give it a bit of detail these are the last dish elements these were a very interesting build spinning it around you can see how that's built up but you could pose these in a number of different ways that's what i one of the few things i do love about the set but yeah in terms of play features it's all just the stud shooters and the cockpit but the winds is where most of the play features are where you can just pose it how you'd like so you can see how it's built up there um we've got a sticker on the wind and they use these garage door pieces in purple which was i thought a very clever technique to get the thrusts you've got also a big turbine engine in the back but I do not like these blue technic pieces. It really takes away from the look. And the dark grey elements really don't blend well together with the black, gold and purple colour scheme of this vehicle. Do have these little flaps up here which you can adjust. But I'm going to repose this in different ways so you can get it. The film comes out. We don't know how this thing actually lands. But you can pose it like this and just fold it all together to make a more compact vehicle. And just make, it just looks so different compared to what it was before. I do love how you can really customise the look of it how you would like, but I would personally leave it in its standard form because the um, you don't get a very good look at the thrust elements there. But let's move on to the minifigures. So here we have uh, two minifigures that are both included in the Kin Namor's throne set, so we're only going to take a look at these guys once as we're looking at all the sets in this video. But as you can see, leg and toe printing for Shuri on the left, very well detailed, and it is very reminiscent of a Black Panther suit. If you've seen the leak of the largest set, it will contain spoilers there, so try to avoid that set, because it does reveal who is the new Black Panther, supposedly. But a tumor on the right is fantastic. You've got this brand new um, headpiece, got like a hammer head here, and it's dual, it doesn't look like it's dual molded, it looks like it's painted on top, as you can see there, it's a very interesting piece though and in there you can also get a better look at his face printing very very intricate detailing for the legs he does also have a brand new hair piece as well which is fantastic love getting new hair pieces and he does also come with a spear or tumor spinning these guys around the back you can see they've both got an alternate facial expression and again great back torso printing and here are the two exclusive minifigures to this set uh, on the left we have iron heart williams 
uh, is our alter ego. She will be getting her own Disney Plus show next year and is kind of the successor to Iron Man along with War Machine. On the right we have uh, Nakia, or Nakia, however you pronounce it, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, um, again, leg printing for both of these, very well detailed minifigures. So this is her Mark 1 suit, again, the larger set does contain some spoilers. Um, the Nakia minifigure is excellent, big step up from her original minifigure that we got back in 2018. I will be doing a comparison video on all the Black Panther sets, so stay tuned for that, that'll be coming up very soon. She also has got the rim pieces for her accessories, and um, as you can see, Ironheart's got like the claw piece in red, and I don't know what this other piece is supposed to represent, we'll have to wait until the film comes out, but looking at the details, she'll go great in the Hall of Armor collection. Um, for that, and you can see the back torso printing for Nakia. She does have a alternate expression. And removing all this, see there the back torso printing of for Ironheart. Um, but yeah, and they, as you can see, they're using a new flesh color in which they recently introduced, I believe, for other figures. So next up, we have the um, smallest Wakanda Forever based set. Um, this is my favorite set of all four um, Black Panther sets that have been revealed. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you get two duplicated figures from the slightly larger set. So you can get uh, these figures for £15 cheaper, which is good. But I would have liked maybe another exclusive character. Or maybe they swapped around some of the figures more so you get more exclusivity. Because all three of these minifigures do appear in other sets. Here's the speeder build. As you can see, it is definitely Wakandan based. It gives that vibe. But yeah, it's got some stud shooters on the bottom there. You can see how it's built up. It's very small, but very sleek. Hopefully... Um, you can connect this to other sets, uh, so what you do is you can open up all these flaps all the way and take your Shuri minifigure. What you do is you take Shuri minifigure and you just place her in like that, you just slide her back legs into there, into the piece. And you can kind of angle her up so she's not like completely flat, but the more you do so it is a little bit awkward. I do not like, I get what they're going for, but it just doesn't look that great i mean you could go and get it like to happen here it looks like she's uh, just asleep in there but yeah um you've got three stickers on top as you can see as well this is my favorite build in this set uh, we've got king Namor's throne so you do have four studs you can sit them down and closer look at the phone itself it's an excellent build i do love this build it's very um bottom heavy as well so you do feel like you're getting your money's worth out of this which is good considering the price has gone up so much lately these little fish pieces are such a clever little build. You've got three on the right and one on the left. You've got tons of stickers throughout this uh, giant, uh, like, sea creature jaw skeletal, which is really cool build. Did enjoy putting that together. These seaweed elements are probably going to get knocked off very easy, but it's a great display piece for adult or older collectors yeah, and younger kids can still have a bit of fun with it. It does have a potential for something like this that looks like a very nice desk piece. We've got the disc launcher in the front there with a gold element. You do get two extras of those. Take a look around the side. You can see there how it's built up. You can move this, but it looks better when you have it at the angle. This tool piece is a little bit flimsy as well. I can see kids knocking that piece off. Take a look around the back. There's nothing much going on, but you do have this little piece here. And what you do is you push this in and that will shoot out. That was pretty pathetic, but yeah, it will shoot out the disc. Or you can pull this out. And I've added all the extra gems, but they tell you to put just the, one of each colour gem in there. But you can actually fit all eight in it if you would prefer to do that. That just looks more impressive. And you've got a gold ingot piece there. Kin Namor, who is a mutant in the comics. So another mutant in Lego form is great to get. Hopefully they keep that in his origin in the film. I don't, I can't see them not doing that, to be honest, though. Uh, hopefully he is a mutant because he is marvel's first mutant in the comics i believe he was introduced in the very very early 1900s so yeah very old character and it's great to finally get him in live see him in live action and in as a lego figure as you can see it's got side leg printing with the little winds which is very iconic to the character the ears are printed uh painted on but the opacity for the skin color is not quite the same as the flesh tone um but still looks all right i do like the spear that they built up it's a bit different than just having the standard spear piece leg printing continues on the other side and he even print his own um underwear <laughs> on the side as well but yeah very cool minifigure 
Uh, he does come in the larger set, but this is a very cheap way to get him. And he does have an alternate facial expression where he looks a bit more chipper. And here is the smaller set of the wave, but this is based on the first Black Panther film. Similar to the Spider-Man No Way Home sets, where they weren't really No Way Home based. They kind of just took ideas from older films. But yeah, this is a very, this four plus set, and it retails for 10 or £9 pounds in the UK. So you do get two minifigures. Look at the main build that you get. So it's a little bit of the um, Sherry's lab, which is kind of cool. You, again, they use the same gold disc launcher piece. They tell you to put the spares on top. And you do have this nice printed brick piece, but could have been covered up with just a tile piece on there. And what you're supposed to do is you take your disc launcher and it's got nowhere near enough power to knock that down, but you're supposed to knock it over. So looking around back nothing going on just got some window pane pieces but yeah very standard 4 plus build you also do get this little weapons rack which kind of reminds me of the gungan warriors with that purple shield from star wars so the other build is the little stand that the black panther suit is on so chadwick um chichala is not actually physically included it's just the suit but kids can use the minifigure as their black panther minifigure but yeah it's a very standard little build so here are the two minifigures. On the left is an exclusive Black Panther suit. So that's the one reason you buy this set probably is just for that figure alone to complete your Black Panther suit collection. And on the right is to show you that we got an Infinity Saga wave from uh, last year. Exactly the same figure. The build for the weapons are a little bit different. You can see her print in there. Removing her hairpiece. Um, gives you a better look at her double-sided face and you can get a closer look at the Black Panther minifigure, which is really cool that they included a new figure for him. And for the outro, I thought I'd just show you off the boxes. The boxes for these all have similar packaging for the new film. Can't wait to get the larger set. It does, but it doesn't look that great. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this quick review of all three of the early Black Panther sets. Um, as I said, the throne is definitely my favourite. I just love the build. It's a nice desk piece. The ship I was very surprised for because, as I said, I haven't taken a closer look enough at it and it really surprised me building that. The Junior, uh, the 4 Plus set is a 4 Plus set. It's good to get a new Black Panther minifigure and some extra pieces, I suppose, if you don't want to display that. But yeah, I would definitely recommend that for £30. You get two figures that are coming a little bit more expensive set and you get name more for cheaper as well. But if you do want the two exclusive figures from this set, I would also recommend this set. But yeah, across the board, pretty good wave. Um, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts down below on all these sets. What do you guys think of them down in the comment section? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a Black Panther comparison video and a Mutant Lego minifigure comparison. So stay tuned for those videos in the very near future. And I'll talk to you guys later.